I'm just going to give a quick little review on the Woodpecker DP Pro drill press fence and a couple of the accessories that I got for it. I wanted a uh, long table top for my drill press. I do a lot of boring on um, cabinet doors and things like that. Uh, so I like to have a little extra support. Um, so I bought the 48 inch fence from Woodpecker. Uh, in general, I think the fence is really good. Um, it's got uh, metric and imperial markings on it. I'm metric in my shop. Um, it's always nice to have both if you need it. It's got a T-track on the face, a couple T-tracks on the top. Um, the adjustment knobs are really easy to use. Um, the dust collection is very good. Uh, you can get a little adapter back here for a Festool vacuum if you want, if that's what you use. Um, I made this top with a couple of slots. I can slide clamps in and in many different spots and on these T-tracks here. Um, they're wide enough that it'll take a Bessie clamp if I really want it to be strong. Um, the, um, you just put a little dado on the top here for the track. I made mine too long, so I put these little inserts in. Make sure you little, uh, leave a little half circle here to get your, your clamps out. Put a sacrificial plate in here. Um, the real problem when you do a long bed like this is that the uh, crank to raise and lower the cast iron table on your drill press is going to collide with a uh, extended top when you try to crank it. Um, a lot of people will um, elevate their um, secondary top over the cast iron top. Um, put a drawer or something like that on there. I didn't really want to bother with that. Um, I just put all my stuff down in here. Um, so I just made this out of a couple of uh, couple couple layers of uh, three quarter inch Baltic birch ply um, to get around the crank issue. Um, what I did is I put a little coupling right here coming out of the drill press with some bar stock. Uh, brought the bar stock out to the side, and so my clamp is right here on the side. So it's very easy to raise and lower. Um, when you release the coupler back here to raise and lower the uh, press table. Um, there, there's obviously going to be a little bit of rotation on the table. Um, so on the mounting block here that I screwed in underneath, I just put a little piece of T-track on it with a couple of knobs. Probably only really needed one. Um, and the uh, crank passes through a hole there. And then I can slide that, um, slide that point forward or back as I need to make sure it's nice and aligned. And get that bar, you know, straight so that it cranks up and down easily. Um, the table's been really good for me. Uh, in general, I've liked the table. Uh, there really hasn't come a, anything up with it that I've, I've found to be, you know, problematic so far. Uh, as far as the woodpecker hardware goes, um, something I really don't like, and I and I don't like, I intensely don't like this design. The knurled knob on this flip stop right here protrudes just slightly forward of the fence itself. And so if you put any stock against this fence that's taller than this point right here where this knob is, you're gonna collide with that knob and then you're not gonna be able to get a straight bore. I think it's a really poor design on Woodpecker's part, uh, especially considering the cost of these flip stops. Um, it's a, a known issue. Other people have complained about that. They haven't really done anything about redesigning it, which seems to me to be a very simple redesign. Just redesign that knob and, and, and you're good to go. Um, and the other thing about these flip stops is when they're down and they're locked down, there's still some deflection on this. And, and, it, and it'll move slightly left and right. And I don't like that either, especially when you're using a drill press, you want some precision. Um, so I find these knobs to be completely insufficient. I really need to replace them. I've come across the problem of my stock hitting this knob many times. In fact, this one is laying back here uh, because the last time I used this press, it was a problem I had to take the knob off. Um, I got these also. I don't really care for these much either. Um, it, they're, they just take a long time to, to adjust and um, just get, get, get yourself one of those um, hold downs that's kind of like a, a slight bent piece of stock and it works better. I, I don't even know why I have these up here. Uh, they're, they're back here all the time because I don't really use them. Um, so if you're interested in the woodpecker fence, just get yourself the fence. Um, don't worry about these flip stops. Find something that works better and um, use other uh, hold downs, not those. Save yourself some money. I think the, for the price that Woodpecker is selling these and for the functionality and for the ease of use, they're, they're totally insufficient. Um, otherwise, uh, this table's worked really great for me, um, and the fence itself is, is really nice. So for whatever it's worth, you know, take what, what you, you can use from this and uh, scrap the rest. Good luck.